to show you guys something so we still have this very big can you see let me just yeah we still have this very big peanut butter right? but this one says no added sugar and salt and hubby doesn't like it so the kids are still having this and then i got happy this uh the original black hat toy so we now have two peanut butters in the house but i know that this one is gonna finish quicker because hubby here eats more bread than everyone else in the house and i use this for the kids i personally do not like peanut butter so i don't use peanut butter but i have two of these things so yeah i had to put out my gun this house is cold uh as you may have noticed i didn't buy any snacks with this grocery run because we still have some snacks left from the that checkers special that happened two or three weeks back so i'm just gonna pack these ones nicely and then pretty fair like that's when i'll go and buy more stuff i'm trying to reframe from just i am trying to move away from buying like the same stuff and then um the pantry is full of the same foods and other foods are not here completely and you will notice also that i didn't buy any fresh produce and that is because I literally have only 300 rand left from on my June budget for groceries, so I am gonna have to go to the market. I wanted to go to Woolworths, but with 300, what am I gonna get at Woolworths? So I don't know if I want to tap into July money already. Today is the 25th of June, so I don't know if I wanna tap into the July money to buy fruits for this week or mm -mm. no. no, no. I have 300 left from this month's grocery to this 25th so I need to figure out where I'm gonna buy my fresh produce but I think I will just go to the market if they don't have a lot or mm, I could go for lovers on Tuesday it will already be July <laughs> oh. okay let me ask my husband what would he do what would he do let him ask let me ask him but let me just finish um picking this way i need to refill um uh, my pantry jars with open foods and new ones and then there's so many dishes in this kitchen but i feel like after picking up the pantry also i don't need to clean the fridge because i actually realized there's no there are no fridge items that i need to put away so i have a chance to be lazy and not clean the fridge so i'll clean the fridge i don't know when 
I'll clean the day I go to the market whenever that is. I want to kick myself. I want to kick myself. Do you see this? What is this? This is sugar. Let me show you. What is this? I could have bought something else that I wanted as opposed to getting double sugar. going to cash stuff this binder it's a combination of living expenses and some sinking funds and i have created new labels <laughs> yet again but yeah so i just want to show you guys what i have we are filming with the side view because my tripod my big tripod broke and i'm waiting for a new one from tech a lot but yeah so i have the um, tab for groceries honestly i feel like at this point i really don't need this because i usually shop on the before i do my withdrawals but i'm just gonna keep it for now and then i have a replenish tab which is for the weekly top-ups that we do leon i'm not really sure if i still need it because buying groceries has become trickier as we go over here i have cosmetics i do not buy my cosmetics every month simply because i am a stockpiler so in december or in november i buy a lot of territories so every month i don't need to buy them again however i would like to have this tab available for months like this month where i needed to buy territories i did go buy them um, yesterday and i just put in the slip in here and then petrol I need it and then um, that's all the living expenses we have and then I created this board using Canva I probably should have not cut it here I should have left it to be a bit longer but it's okay and then we have fun times um, sometimes we go out for like ice creams on Sundays or we go to spur or sometimes at Centurion Mall there's a play area and the kids want to play so it would be nice to start building up some funds towards those things and i have travel so this is for when we go home in limpopo for toll gates and snacks and then we have birthdays i am one person that does not save for birthdays but i will buy cake so i want to start saving up for the cakes 
um, the gift I'm not sure I think I will just wing them as I'm already doing and then we have the festive season coming up this should be full but it's not <laughs> I can explain <laughs> so this is mainly for Christmas because that's the day we actually usually um, go out for buffets at these nice venues this year I'm not sure what we are doing and but I would love to build funds for this so for this year it might not work but for next year I'll find me ready so let's stuff this one first and then we'll go into the blue banner that has that also has its own um envelopes so i might not talk through because i find that i get distracted and then i don't count my money correctly so if i decide to play music over i will just write on my screen the amounts that i am stuffing so let's start so i have my before i start i have my cash stuffing sheet because i i have them they are from the book but i have excess so i wrote here and then i also just wrote it again here because this one is more concise and recent and with um cash stuffing or budgeting how i've been doing it this day is that i start my budget on the first of every month and then i end it on the 30th or the 31st of each month even though the income in our household gets in on the 25th and that is just it makes it works better for my brain and my personality to do it from the first day of the month to the last day of the month. Go, go. As I was saying, it works for my brain and my personality to start a budget from the 1st and the 25th. And whatever bills that get paid, um, maybe they run on the 1st, so they just fall on to the next month. And I roll over that amount from the current month's budget. I'm not sure if you are understanding me, but I hope you are. So um i'm just gonna move my sheets a little bit to the side i should have made coffee it's so cold um anyway we're gonna start with our binder so our groceries are not getting anything because we've already bought groceries and okay just to also to clarify so um how do i put this like i said i do my budget from the first to the to the 30th so this does not have anything because I've already spent all the money, yeah, grocery for the month of June from the June income. So, um, yeah, I've already spent the money, so it's not going to have anything. And then the replenish fund. So replenish is what is left from the grocery budget. So the grocery budget for the month of um, June was... 3,000 rands and from all the money that I've spent I'm actually left with 312 but I'm gonna make it 310 so I'm just gonna take um, here and then I up I don't update um, trackers in the binder I update on my budget and I also have so what is the savings um, expense then I will update it on my savings tracker which I will show you guys just now it's also on my digital budget so I use um, a digital budget instead of writing it down I find it much easier because it's already programmed so when I fill in an amount it just populates so I update these on a digital budget and tracker so I'm just gonna mark it down where's my pencil those kids took my pencil so i guess we're gonna use a color so i'll just take off from here so that i remember to um complete on my digital budget um cosmetics is not getting anything it was supposed to get let me just check it was supposed to get 700 but i already spent it yesterday when i went to clicks so it's not getting anything um and there's no leftover for it and then with um petrol petrol is gonna get 320 that is left over from the budget of 800 that i had put if you didn't watch the other video i no longer work so i no longer use the car hubby is the one who uses the car when he goes to the office twice a week and he funds his own work trips it's just that's just how it works in our home um yeah so the petrol is getting 320 one, two, three, and then 20 rands. 
so this is what is left over from june and then i'm gonna be using it in the first month the first week sorry of july so that's all on my living expenses and then we're going over to i need to remember to always take here so that i can update um fun times is not getting anything if there's change it'll get some but it's not getting anything and travel is from this stash is getting 420 guys don't ask me how this 10 turns come about <laughs> uh, don't ask me how this 20 turns come about it's getting 320 no sorry it's getting 420 so i think i did a mistake of not of not removing this money from here but i'm not gonna start this video over like this just no way i will just quickly calculate how much this is and then edit here but i saw in the color pants no so let me quickly do that one two three four five six seven eight six seven eight and in my mind, I thought to myself, something is not right with this money. You have 150 rands. And then I'm getting it. See, let's see now. Plus 50 rand. And then we have 40 rand. Plus 14. So that, um, that amount is this. And then I'll put the total on the screen. You guys know me and counting, not the best. This calculator I got it from Shein. I know I didn't tell you guys, but I got it from Shein. So yeah, let's go on. Travel is gonna get 420. We are going home actually this Saturday. One, two, three, four. We are going to Limpopo, so this is gonna work. And it's just gonna be me and Javi. The kids are not going. The kids are not coming along with oh Jesus. They're not coming along with us. Uh, my best friend is coming to collect them. Lereko! Stop screaming! okay and birthdays right now is not getting anything but i'm gonna budget for it in july and then the first eve season itself also for right now is not getting anything but it has to interns because i'm running the interns challenge in it but yeah so for now let's close this if you have leftover money it will come back but i doubt but i doubt so okay we are coming to this one this binder so i have a new tab for health so we have health insurance with discovery called flexi care it covers a lot of things um but however i want to just start stacking up for co-payments on certain medications that they have and you know for future you can never like health health um funds will never go to waste it will always be um, a use for them so for right now i'm not getting anything because i don't actually need we don't actually need it and then god forbid that we need them then i must <laughs> yeah and then there's this binder behind it that i'm not ready to share so we're gonna skip that and then um clothes this is for lay buys um it's not getting anything this month because i will start probably in july to start putting away labor money for summer clothes and then education so this is for stationaries um school fees we're paying month to month um in the future would like to pay once a year but right now what we can do is month to month so i want to put away money for stationaries and uniform i know that it won't be enough by the time it's december for both kids uh however is um if it's not enough and i feel like i don't want to tap into it i'll just do what i did the other years which is just in a month just buy all those things and sacrifice the other things so if it's not enough for 2025 it will be enough for 2026 and education today is getting 200 and sorry it's getting 250 so i'm just gonna do this one two five getting 250 yo 250 and then we have 
good friday which is easter so every year in my church there's a big easter conference i haven't been to one since i think in the last four years and i'm not sure if i will attend the one year next year but i want to just start on this bash in case i go in case my husband goes and he has some money to either help him with petrol or whatever that he might need so i'm only gonna put in 150 in it so getting 150 that's it and then um catch all so this is where i put money for um saving funds that i don't have um setting i don't have like i know what i want to do with the money but i don't have a due date or i'm not sure about those things so that's i'm gonna put the cash all in also it can act as a buffer and the cash all is getting a hundred rands and i want to put it in give it you know it's like you get a hundred rand it's getting what it's getting 100 rands so i'm just gonna put 100 rand notes in here so that's it catch all has that and we have stuffed so and then I've created one thing about this kit, they will fight. I have created these. So I didn't have um marking, I didn't have envelopes, but I had paper. So I just folded the paper and made my own envelopes. So you have so these is like a home tab. I'm not yet stuffing it, but I just did it because why not? So city living is for here. Homestead is for our retirement home appliances for the home and home maintenance and celebratory events like understand what not i just did them with um a4 paper because i already printed these with the others so these just put them on an a4 paper but i'm not going to be stuffing them however i do have a 32 days account uh with fnp where i save money for our future home and its appliances so I just did this here because I just thought whenever I get extra money, maybe I can just stuff them or do savings challenges with them and then transfer that money into that account in the bank. So that's about that. And we still have a lot of money left here. So I'm not sure. So who should team? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I think let's stuff it because it's already here i'm just not sure why it's left over but let me find tips that we can put it into i think i am going to no, i think i will add them okay no not the 20 rands let me take 50 rands and add to replenish putting it in a balance of one two three fifty of 360 for my fruit and vegetables and then cosmetics were bought and i don't need more um petrol i'm not gonna stuff it but but the car needs a car wash so i should probably just do i want to put the car here the, the car wash here mm, no let's think about it so i think i will put maybe fun times can the collection needs to go to the salon so maybe i should put that so fun times is getting 100 grand so i'm just gonna write that down i have to update here because i need to update my digital um budget because it needs i need to close it off and for it to close it off i need to account for this money so on replenish i added 50 rand and then um Fun times got a hundred rands. Alrighty, so I think yeah, that's good. I think I will add the remaining amount on travel because, like I said, we're going to Limpopo this uh, weekend. So I will help Habi with um petrol. So okay, just to clear confusion or if you're wondering, we are a one income household, right? How, and the budget that I do is for our home. However, there are things that my husband just prefers doing on his own without tapping into the what we call our family money. So that's why I say I'll be helping him with this because 
he gets his own he has his whole his own money and i get my own allowance which i include in the budget so the budget might seem like it revolves around me and the kids and includes my husband and that's because my husband has his own money to do whatever that he wants to do with his money which usually just ends up being him buying us snacks and taking me out and wada 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 mm -hmm. but you know what i'm not complaining i love that and yeah so i'm gonna i uh, thought needs to go to the salon so maybe okay these ones wait. so maybe travel i'll just give it um let me take uh, okay wait let me take out the 20 rands and give it 50. so now it's two it's one sorry one two three four no man oh yeah 450 so now it's sitting on 450 what no let me put what oh, sorry let me do what let me just i am really losing my patience with these kids um they do things that they're not supposed to do and i really want to not be the parent that shouts but sometimes it's just yeah it's too much anyway i ended up giving travel 500 rands so that's that um so i'm gonna now use these 20 rands to do to fill up their easter sorry not easter festive season rather because you guys rem you guys will remember that i started um savings challenges which i used the money and i wanted to give up but you guys encouraged me to just start over so i have started over so i'm just gonna continue with it and finish i guess i had missed the point of saving is that when there's a need to use the money use it so let's do that As I'm working to close off my digital budget so that it matches, so I can like track my um, parking, my cash stuffing, and track my dig my digital transactions, that everything looks good, so that when I close it off and I roll over what's left, it's all good and well. Yes, yes. So I just wanted to also just say that when you're consuming all this content on personal finances, please remember that. Personal finances are exactly that. They are personal. So they are not going to be the same for everyone. People, Some people are going to save more. Some people are going to spend more. And I personally feel like there's nothing wrong when people um, have budget that, you know, they reflect their lives. Sometimes you are not gathering. Sometimes you feel like someone else is wasteful, but you don't know their responsibilities and their lifestyle. And it's important to also remember that money, we don't have the same relationship with money. They off, we don't treat money the same. And as people that grew up in different households, we most likely not going to behave the same around money. And I'm saying this with using myself and my husband as an example. I grew up in a nuclear home. So with both my parents and it's you know so and so i always get a ring how do i put it yeah i grew up in a nuclear home so we grew up in different homes and i grew up with a mom who has a spreadsheet not a spreadsheet my mom had a you know those diaries that they give you at work or like you're attending a festival or whatever they give you my mom every month she would jot down the things she needed to pay and she did not like put us down to say sit down let's do it but she would do it in our presence and it just kind of got cemented you know how they say kids are like monkey see monkey do so you do what you see more than you do what you care so I grew up with a mother who did that. So budgeting became neutral for me. And I had my first bank account at the age of 18. 
and then I like scribbling sorry <laughs> so if it bothers you I'm sorry I like scribbling so um what was I saying oh yeah so not discovery taking an extra 50 cent yeah but it's about cholera because last month I did them dirty I actually saved more than I had anticipated and I love that for my family because they're gonna benefit from my behavior yes mama they're about to do something illegal when you hear them asking me if they can close the door not illegal but you know what I mean anyway I digress so my mom um I grew up around a mother who does that so I got accustomed to how things are done you know how like working with your budget and also not my expenses for this month <laughs> that's all i can say that's all i need to stop getting distracted okay so i grew up with a mom who would do a budget so i grew up around seeing my mom doing her budgeting right and my husband grew up with his aunt um an uncle who ran a shop and he i think also that's why he's an entrepreneur because that's where he saw how to how they run a business like how they treat business you know business finance or not but they were not doing personal finances so for him personal finances is not something that he was comfortable with and when we first met he was not comfortable in terms of sharing money talking about money he was happy with paying bills and buying things and like getting making sure the home is okay but not getting into the conversation of how to manage the money but and i didn't force my ways on him we just lived separate financial lives up until a point where we thought mm, maybe let's try a joint financial life our joint financial life is, works in this sense hello yes yako okay i'm coming ne? so our joint financial life works in the sense that um we both have our individual accounts and uh, where we receive our incomes so or receive our monies however our home bills our responsibilities run from one mutual account it's easier just to just nobody we put so much money into this account all the debit orders are run from this account so if there's ever a debit order that bounces or a foreign debit or whatever we just know to go one place and look and then we have a separate account where we have monies from our hustles and whatnot personally i'm not i don't feel entitled to the money that he makes outside of the money that he's already contributing to the home and he also doesn't feel entitled to the money that i make on the side like selling planners from being a content creator doing people cvs and being a social media manager however we you know we are not limited to how we contribute to the home but i can tell you for sure we are a traditional home we do not do a 50 50 we do not believe in it and we do not practice it in our home it is i would if i was to put it in numbers it's probably 80 20 and under 20. yes so that's just how we run a home when it comes to finances and when it comes to nurturing the home then it's also 80 20 80 falls on me the 20 falls on him it works for us you can also find a model that works for you don't listen to me or anyone else telling you how you should run your life personal finances are exactly that they are personal to you how you run your home how you handle your money is your business we are just sharing for educational purposes hoping that it inspires you to you know to tackle your money any friend any acquaintance even you guys know i advocate for standing on business and i'm not saying be a hustle babe one not standing on business for me means just be in the know and stay in control of your life don't let life happen to you and you're just standing there from the outskirts and looking over your life you need to take charge you need to take control that's on day and that's on period but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe i love you so much and i'll keep you guys on my next upload bye